A to the B, JDS, Gamer, and I'm also known as a JDS 4696. I've been kind of changing my name a lot lately. <laughs> But they're, they're, they're the same, I'm the same person. I just use like different aliases. You know? So I'm still making my way to uh, Chico. Like one of my allies, I mentioned one of the two allies that you have to rescue in this mission. I'm still on my way to Chico right now. And it's pouring rain, you know? <laughs> Kind of reminiscent of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, you know, some liberty. The opening sequence for that game where it was like raining on the ship, you know. Then it was a big twist that was like very popular back then. I was even shocked right then with that grab that, you know, I ain't gonna spoil it for people who never played uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, you know. And this uh this base known as uh, Camp Omega, it is pretty like huge. It is like it's open world, you know, because most of the Metal Gear Solid games they were like you know, kind of like straightforward, like very linear. You know, they weren't really like open world like this, you know. Like you go in like this room, this path, this room, they know like close out with this one, you know. It's like it really is like open world, you know. Because the other Metal Gear Solid, you had to actually leave out, almost like you're going, almost like you're finishing a level. Like when you go into like a different area or another area, you know what I'm saying? It was almost like you was finishing up a level when you left like a previous era. Like you went through like a certain door, you know, or a certain room or like area, like a, a, you know what I'm saying? It was almost like you was going like into like another location. Like you, <laughs> like you were finishing like a level or whatever. And proceeding to the next, you know? Cause even four was like that. The last uh, Metal Gear Solid game, four Guns of the Patriots, it was also like that too. When you leave like a certain area, you know, or whatever, you uh, it's almost like you're finishing a level. So that's why that, that's why you could tell that that wasn't really you know open world gameplay. Whereas in this one, Metal Gear Solid Five, Ground Zeroes, it is open world now. When you're going through like doors or certain areas, it doesn't like, you know what I'm saying, doesn't like cut or like, you know what I'm saying, or fade out or whatever, you have to wait for the next area to load, you know. It truly does feel like open world, but I mean it's not open world on that level, say like a Grand Theft Auto or something like that, it's not like that, you know. Well not that level, but, but it is like still like open world, you know. You got a large environment, you know, you can play in, you know. Pretty fun. And as you can see, there's a uh, Chico. We're very close to uh, finding him or whatever, even these, these prison cells. And you have a choice of uh, freeing the other prisoners, and that's like one of the gameplay, you know, other replay things you can do. You can just free all the prisoners, because there's even hidden prisoners in the game. Like towards the beginning of the game, you find like a, a hidden prisoner, you know. Like Chico, like Chico. I mentioned before, he was introduced, I believe, in uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which was originally on the, uh, the PSP, but they ported it to the uh, the PlayStation 3 part of the, part of the uh, Metal Gear Solid, you know, collection. Chico, it's me. Because that's why I originally had played it, and you meet Chico no. on the... No, 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 I think this is probably your first no, key look at Chico, like, in a... Uh, a rendered like CGI like type form, you know. I mean, like real time, like graphics, you know. Because in the Peace Walker, he was like cell shaded, like, 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 like cartoon, like comic book. before the graphics in the game like you know are very well done you know it looks, it looks gorgeous you know
You have to be free Chico, then your next target is a uh, pad. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Chico. actually, you didn't have to, uh, you didn't have to really free both of them. You could actually love, but that was really part of the mission was playing on both Chico and uh, pads. You also can tell that Chico kind of had it, uh, you know, pretty rough, you know. That's why they were like torturing Chico and stuff. They were also torturing Paz, too. I believe they were actually torturing uh, Chico a lot because he has, you know, like bruises and like he even has bolts in his ankles and stuff, you know. Now, I believe the Scott that he has on his chest, I'm sure he probably, he probably did that. He probably like, put a hole in his own chest. I'm just betting he did that himself. You know? So you saw that the uh, the opening intro for you know the Scarface studio cassette tape for Chico, and he took like the uh, the headphone like jack part of it and put it in his chest out of his chest, and he put it inside the uh, cassette player. Now eventually once you rescue Chico you have to take him to a spot where the helicopter will come, you know, and rescue him and you know and take him off. Then you have you can actually choose to leave, I think, then. But you still do have to rescue uh pass to the, the other ally. So to truly uh, finish it, you know. And eventually Chico gives you the tape that Skull Face I gave to him because he actually recorded when they were taking, you know, paths away, I think. I mean, when, it was, when Skull Face was leaving. Okay, that's my commentary. This is JDS Gamer, also known as JDS4696. All right.